Clone is a really popular tool that lets you connect remote storage such as Dropbox or Google Drive with the local file system so that the machine that runs our clone sees the files in the remote storage as if they were local. This is really useful as it lets you keep your files in the cloud where you might have a better connection, more storage or any other advantage that is convenient to you. From that description, you can probably tell that our clone and seed boxes are a bit related, so it makes total sense to run our clone in your seed box and let you have the best of both worlds at the same time. A problem with our clone, at least until now, is that configuration is a bit tricky. It's a command, line-based tool. It doesn't have a web interface, and in general, managing it requires some expertise. Here at Zervic, one of our primary goals is to bring the best tools to everyone, regardless of experience level. We want our seed boxes to be easy to use and enjoy, and we make it our business to make, build, whatever is missing from the ecosystem in order to achieve that goal. For our clone, that missing piece is a simple-to-use web interface that lets you use our clone without having to edit configuration files yourself, using the Linux terminal or caring about complex commands and parameters. To connect our clone to your Zervic seed box, you just have to do two steps. Add your remote system to the seed box and mount it. Let's go over both steps. To add it, select Remote Config in the dashboard left side menu. Then click on Create. Select the remote type. For this demo, we're going to use Google Drive. The name here is just informational to yourself. We'll use G Drive Tutorial, but it could be anything descriptive. Then we click on the G Drive link. Authorize the seed box to access our files in Google Drive to obtain a verification code. And paste that code in the dashboard form. Click on OK and we're done. Once we have the remote, we have to mount it. Mounting means that we're linking it to a specific folder in the seed box. So going to that location will show the contents of the remote as if the files were inside the mount folder. Go to our clone mount in the dashboard and fill the three fields. The remote name is just what we typed in the previous screen. We just have one, so we select it. The remote path is the folder in the remote that we want to connect to the seed box. Be careful here. If you enter a slash, then your seed box will have access to the contents of all of the files in your drive. That's probably not what you want. Instead, select something like slash seed box or something really descriptive so that you know that you shouldn't copy sensitive files there. Finally, select the mount point. That's the name of the folder in the seed box that will be linked to the remote system. In this directory, we're going to use slash mnt slash g drive tutorial. That's it. We can check that it's working by going to that folder anywhere, such as the file explorer in the dashboard or in our uTorrent. Let's use the dashboard. Click on download, file access methods, direct web access, access files. There we can see the contents of our seed box. And sure enough, we have a slash mnt folder there, and inside it, we have another folder called G Drive Tutorial. Click on it, and all our Google Drive files are there. How cool is that? Thank you for watching, and see you in the next tutorial.